ask people do you believe god yes pastor i believe god okay okay so what do you believe in god for what do you believe god what kind of question is that and that is the question i'm asking you ask anybody on the earth do you believe in god yes i believe in god okay what do you believe now the answer will not be coming because they don't know what they believe say i believe in god what do you believe in god what you did not fight for anything and you want to see favor of god for what what does it favor mean that thing which will not be done for other will be done for you but what is the thing you are fighting for which should not be done for others but for you what is that exceptional thing you are asking you want to see favor your family said let's go to village to have marriage and yes you went to village did you fight for it you would have seen favor praise the lord but that was not in your heart to fight for it it was not in your heart every day you have birthday party on sunday and you attend all the birthday parties on sunday you don't want to tell your family you you yourself don't want to tell it is not even in your heart to miss the party you are ready to miss the church but not the party then you say my family will fight with me first plan to miss purpose in your heart that no matter what you will die but you will not miss the church let me see why favor will not come with your family members praise the lord hallelujah with your friends with your neighbors let me see how favor will not show up but first thing has to be done first father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we worship you we honor you we exalt you you are a god of peace you are a god of love there is no exempt to your rule o oh lord wisdom and knowledge and honor belongs to you thank you for many victories you have given to us o oh lord thank you father thank you lord thank you for this time in your presence to be taught by your spirit o lord we say o lord our hearts and minds are open to hear and receive from you and in jesus mighty name we pray amen you may be seated thank you hallelujah can you shout glory you uh, shout don't say it i said shout glory tell your neighbor happy new year when my new year is good why shouldn't i say happy new year every day praise the lord hallelujah so tell your neighbor with now with this understanding happy new year because there is lot of things to be excited about in this year because lord has told us this is our year of redemption and i believe you are meditating on the message and you are cashing your vouchers you are not hoping but you know it has to happen praise the lord last sunday we spoke about uh, excellence and we said when we are meditating on this year of redemption it is important we we'll look at few other things as well which will help us to make sure that the year of redemption for us really happens praise the lord see god can say anything and it might happen for few people and it might not happen for few people like jesus paid for the whole world but not everybody is saved because men will always have a responsibility in the scheme of god and uh, so if somebody says that lord jesus is my lord and savior the person is saved but what if the person never says it he was saved but he will not be saved praise the lord so this is our year of redemption there are a few things which are very important which 
very few pay attention to and it can be seen from the results in their lives and we said that one thing is excellence praise the lord i want to show you from daniel chapter chapter 1 from verse 3 and the king spake unto espenaz the master of his eunuchs that he should bring certain of the children of israel and of the king's seed and of the princes say king's seed of the princes very two important thing next children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom say all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science <laughs> and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongues of the chaldeans look at the kind of people kings choose praise the lord so when you say kings are coming to see the light of my rising <laughs> and when we say rising that was means rise So you can't just be saying this is my year of redemption. Kings are coming to see the uh, light of my rising. I say okay, but rise. And what do we mean by rise? Let's start from verse three again. And of the king's seed and of the princes. Thank God this is qualified in us. Am I right? We are well qualified. Say I'm king seed. I'm kingly. Am I right? Certainly this is by the reason of our uh, being uh, seed of Abraham. and of the king's seed and of princes next children in whom was no blemish but well favored and skillful in all wisdom say all wisdom now uh, sir i only know my house work i don't know anything else you must know you must know no nobody can be jack of all trades what is that idiom I say, say jack of all trade, master of none, or no. I said no. I, I'm not a jack of all trades. I'm a master of all trades. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so don't quote that scripture for you. Jack of all trades, master of none. No, I'm master of all trades. That's what it means. Is skillful in all wisdom. Is skillful. It means master. Am I right? If language mean anything, am I right? That what it means. Well favored, and skillful in all wisdom. Well favored. people who were who were favored who have the team ability am i right team work well favored means team work i'm know what i'm talking about well favored that oh you are you know how to work in a team people like to work with you not that you are solo man praise the lord hallelujah children in whom was no blemish but well favored is skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge who frugality can you see the frugality cunning in knowledge not knowledge cunning you understand they know if this can be done in 20 rupees i will do it in 15 cunning if this can be done in 10 hours i will do it in 5 hours cunning i hope you mean cunning means extraordinary hello what means cunning amara he is very cunning what do you mean by cunning the guy has some smart ways of he can reduce the budget he can do it faster he he just knows how to play people and he just get his work done so they didn't have knowledge but they have cunning knowledge understanding science who and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace can you see that this is another one ability to stand in king's palace no pastor i can't stand on the pulpit no 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 don't tell me no, don't tell me to be a cell leader pastor no 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 you must be a cell leader no pastor when i hold the microphone my legs are shaking praise the lord Why? Why? No, 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 Vasa. You know, you should get the ability. Praise the Lord. Are you getting? But that's not the point. Again, point is something else. You know, I can give, show you some beautiful things, but they don't. They are not my focus again. So, that's not the focus. The focus is something else, and we have to be fast. Okay. Next. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank. so nourishing them 3 years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king wow look at the life 
they are getting food from king's table wow say wow is it not nice is is it good or bad very good they were getting the food from the king's table because they were wise am i right let's keep reading now among these were of the children of judah daniel hanaya mishael and azariah unto whom the princes of the eunuch gave names for he gave unto daniel the name of belshazzar and to hananiah shadrach and to mishael of meshech and to azariah abednego yes but daniel say but look at me say but this but is big but many people don't have this but in their life you will see it now why daniel was preferred among the princes and president already the guy was wise am i right we already saw the qualities cunning knowledge understanding science skillful in all wisdom everything was there but what separated him from others was this but praise the lord which many christian don't pay attention to so they are not preferred with all the intelligence they are not preferred with all the blessing they are not preferred you want to be preferred am i right don't you like preference you were standing in the queue and all of a sudden everybody said please come so say but but daniel purpose in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat what we just read was good but that this guy didn't accept it so but daniel purpose in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat nor with the wine which he drank therefore he requested of with the prince of the eunuch that he might not defile himself wow good thing was there but he denied it why did he deny it because in the law you could not eat every animal in the law there was a way you have to clean the animal before you can eat it like jhatka and halal in their days it was jhatka not halal because they were not allowed to drink uh, blood so blood was not supposed to go in the meat this was their law now don't start fighting for halal and jhatka now we we are allowed praise the lord but in their days it was it mattered that you cannot drink blood of the animal so the cleansing was different and not every animal according to now we can eat anything say thanks and eat but in those days it wasn't so so he was concerned that if i sit on king's table i don't know what is there how it is cooked and i will defile myself so the point was not food point was the guy had the fear of god more than the fear of king praise the lord I ask people do you believe god yes pastor i believe god okay okay so what do you believe in god for what do you believe god what kind of question is that and that is the question i'm asking you ask anybody on the road do you believe in god yes i believe in god okay what do you believe now the answer will not be coming because they don't know what they believe so i believe in god what do you believe in god what answer me what do you believe in god so many say i believe in god i say what they don't know but this man knew so but daniel purpose in his heart say daniel purpose in his heart nobody told him so don't wait for the holy spirit because holy spirit also wants to know what do you want sometime you know people don't know there is a ministry of holy spirit but then there is a participation of our human spirit something has to come from us but daniel purpose in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat nor with the wine which he drank therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuch that he might not defile himself mm-hmm. 
Now God has brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuch. Say God brought Daniel favor. But who purpose first? You want to see favor? Purpose for something. Fight for something. You did not fight for anything and you want to see favor of God for what? What does it favor mean? That thing which will not be done for other will be done for you. But what is the thing you are fighting for which should not be done for others but for you? What is that exceptional thing you are asking? You want to see favor? Your family said, let's go to village to have marriage. And yes, you went to village. Did you fight for it? You would have seen favor. Praise the Lord. But that was not in your heart to fight for it. It was not in your heart. Every day you have birthday party on Sunday and you attend all the birthday parties on Sunday. You don't want to tell your family. You, you yourself don't want to tell. It is not even in your heart to miss the party. You are ready to miss the church but not the party. Then you say my family will fight with me. First plan to miss. Purpose in your heart. That no matter what you will die. But you will not miss the church. Let me see why favor will not come with your family members. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With your friends. With your neighbors. Let me see how favor will not show up. But first thing has to be done first. Am I right? Order. I told you order. Hallelujah. So now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuch. Okay, thank you. Next. And the prince of the eunuch said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king who had appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king he said oh my life will be in endanger but because of the favor of God this man took the risk praise the Lord next then said Daniel to Melzar whom the prince of the eunuch had said over Daniel Hananiah Mishael and Azariah mm hmm Prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee and the countenances of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat as thou seest, deal with thy servants. So he consented to them in this matter and proved them ten days at the stake of his own life. Praise the Lord. Can't you see the favor? You want to see the hand of God. Stand for God. Someone who does not stand for God. Will you see the hand of God? Say Pastor I never saw the hand of God. Because you never stood for God. <laughs> I have seen the hand of God million times in my life. Million times. Not one or two million times. Praise the Lord. Next. And at the end of 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer <laughs> and fatter. Wow. See, I cannot come on Sunday because my shop, if I close my shop, all my customers will go to other shop. Look at this man. Where is the favor? Look at this. You can't close your shop for some time because you want your customer not to run. Close the shop with that purpose in your heart. Lord, after serving you and doing your God, your will, I can never be disadvantaged. No customer will come out of their houses. Anybody who said, I want to eat mango in the night, in the morning, they say, I don't want to eat mango because your shop is closed. And the time you put the mango again, everybody will see, I want to eat mango. And from this shop only, praise the Lord. I know what I'm talking. I know what I'm talking. And at the end of 10 days, their countenance, the problem is when you're swindling. Purpose in his heart. 
at the end of 10 days their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of king's meat praise the lord and look at it how many were brought so many were brought am i right they were all from israel did you notice it let's go to verse 3 fast i want to show you something should bring certain of the children of israel it means everybody had the law but only four followed it can you see this <laughs> so they will always be like this you decide what kind of a christian you want to be look at it should bring certain of the children of israel and of the king seed and of the princes they all were from israel they all had the law am i right how many followed it four okay, let's go to verse 15 you will see beautiful thing there Woo! and at the end of 10 days their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat hallelujah after closing the shop on sunday because of church because of soul winning you will also make more money than the others praise the lord if their shops remain because god can decide to close their shop ha ha next thus melza took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them pulse woo next oh lord this is excellent this is beautiful now we read in verse 3 and verse 4 we saw some qualities am i right kingly cunning in knowledge blah 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 and all of them had it all those people who were brought from israel to serve in the king's palace they all had that minimum qualification but let's see what happened to these four children as for these four children god gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams praise the lord can you see this can you see the prophet can you see the problem god gave them knowledge you could have become you could have done mba you could have become doctor and then you decide to work in church oh boy just do with that purpose in your heart and let's see what your life will be that's why i say working in church nobody is allowed to be fooled mistakes are not accepted if you truly serve the lord this should happen in your life you cannot say i work all oh, pastor you know my heart i say i know your heart is heart now correct then because the people whose heart is correct i know this should happen to that it happened to me it keeps happening to me i have seen this functioning in my life i'm far wiser than people can think not of my own strength because god did it to me and as for these four children god gave them knowledge and a skill in all that's why you know you know me you know any topic i can talk isn't it if if i say this scripture is fulfilled in me will you say no you know pastor can talk pastor chris can talk in anything and everything that's what god does so no fools are allowed say tell your neighbor no fools are allowed no foolishness is allowed it should have happened to you i said did you really serve the lord how could you serve the god with perfect heart and wisdom will not be granted to you perhaps it was never in your heart never in your heart you wanted to please the world you wanted to please the pastor you wanted to please both of them you just didn't want to please god only and that's why it didn't happen to many those supposed to happen am i making sense 
as for these four children god gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams and we know not only he had understanding of all visions and dream the guy can also know the dream <laughs> you remember that he was asked to tell him the dream and the interpretation both that was the most outrageous obnoxious thing you can ever hear praise the lord you are telling me if i come to you and i say please tell me the meaning of my dream and i tell you the dream is okay but when i say tell me the dream and tell me the meaning of the dream but this daniel had it because he initiated it leader always gets extra praise the lord that's what i wanted to show you <laughs> the day you decide to become leader you will always have extra are you good leader will always have extra that's what god does when he makes you a leader he gives you extra eyes so to say <laughs> you will always know better than everybody else because you have to lead them they have to respect you leader will always know extra as god's doing praise the lord are you with me how many of you with me i hope i'm making sense and as for these four children god gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams and next now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in then the prince of the eunuch brought them in before nebuchadnezzar and do you know how what was the length of the days 3 years for 3 years their secret was kept a secret Are you getting me? For three years. So don't say, Pastor, my family is pressurizing me. My family is pressurizing me. He said, How long they are pressurizing me? How long? They were pressurized for three years. For three years. One or two or three? Three years. Every day, something against the king's order was happening. in king's palace by the king's chief chef for who for slaves look at the glory here praise the lord is it not glorious should i say my statement again i say for 3 years something against the order of the king was happening in king's palace by king's chief cook for few slaves look at the extent of god's grace praise the lord not as if something good was happening for kings am i right this eunuch was fighting for some petty slaves so to say petty slaves am i right petty slaves the guy put his line life on line for these petty slaves and though all other people of the same clan were eating from king's table the guy could have said what kind of stupidity is it do you think you are some special thing and didn't we bring all of you from israel why you are making this 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 show off about your life that you will not eat what about these people are they not from your same family look at the extent of they were from the same clan they were from same israel praise the lord hallelujah but when they followed when they had the fear of god say fear of god that's what when i say you believe in god what do you believe in god can you believe god for your life can you believe the lord is the shepherd you shall not want can you believe what he is telling you is the best for you or you want to do your own will praise the lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Lift to holy hands and thank him. Lift to holy hands and thank him. Praise the Lord. This is the time to give our tithes, our offerings, our partnership unto the Lord.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you and honor exalt you. Thank you for the privilege of bringing our tithes, our offerings, our seeds. As we have given, we receive the multiplied harvest, O oh Lord, according to your word. Yes. Everything which is written on our slips, that hundredfold should come to us of our, of our seeds, our tithes, is coming to us in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We trust that you have been blessed by today's broadcast. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus the Lord of your life by saying this prayer. Mean it with all your heart and God will hear you. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe God raised him from the dead and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in his name, the name of Jesus, I receive remission of sins for my soul. I receive eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you for giving me a new life. I am born again. I am a child of God now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you have just said this prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please call us now or visit our website. God bless you. So let's stand up on our feet. Thank God for His love, for His mercies, for His grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, Amen. Surely His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Cheer up. The word works. Thank you.